Hey, it's Becca with Rebecca Reed Creative, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Squarespace site from start to finish. Hopefully, I can get my dog out of this video. Stay tuned. To start off your Squarespace website, you need to find a template that will work. And so I'm choosing this one, but one thing that you can do is just go to the Squarespace template library and type in whatever you um, your business is. And so they will come up with some um, ideas for you, which are great, but I really recommend finding templates that are in the Brian family because the Brian family um, templates are the best for manipulating and overall I think just the best family templates. So I will link this article that I found um, on Squarespace support uh, and you can just make sure that you're using a template that is under here. So just go in to the template you want to use. I chose Rally, which again is a template in the Brian family and then you just click start. As you can see, I've already started editing the site for my client, um, but I'm going to kind of walk you through exactly how to do this. So um, the Brian family templates use index pages for the main page usually, and under the index page are these pages. So we're just going to start from the top and work our way down. Um, they had four photos, but those weren't actually just photos. Those were blog posts. And so as you can see, this has latest posts linked. And um, to edit the four, or if you want three, whatever um, blog posts, you go to the blog section. And um, I've already done this, but it'll come up with a button that says um, something to the effect of copy current blog page or start a new one. And you can choose either. I just copied it for the sake of making my life a little bit easier. but then you can go in and edit each blog post or write your um, blog post. But the main thing I really wanted to show you was um, a few things. First of all, when you're editing this your blog post, make sure that you go to options and add a thumbnail image. That's going to be the image that uh, shows up on your blog page. The second thing is if you want it to show up on your home page, make sure you click featured post and save. Now for this particular client, her main thing is she's in publications and trying to promote her work. So this is a great feature to have right at the top. However, if you are a service-based business, let's say um, maybe a masseuse, this is probably not, your blog is probably not the main thing you want to feature. The main thing you want to feature is what you do um, and who you serve. And so that is something that should be answered above the fold of your website, which means the first thing they land on up here. So maybe you would get rid of this latest post section. And if you want to do that, you can just go again to index. You can go to edit. You can just hover over it, click edit. And um, this would allow you to delete different sections if you wanted to replace it with something. If you wanted to just delete that whole section, just go over to the left-hand side and click delete. Then you have this spotlight uh, image area. And so... What I suggest doing is you want to have something that's really going to catch your reader's attention. So figure out ahead of time who is your ideal client. Once you figure that out, write something that's really going to catch their attention. So dreaming of articles that don't make people want to grab their Instagram and uh, actually convert to sales, perfect. You're in the right place. And so what I did is I decided to justify this left. It started off in the center and how I do that is um, well first of all I just when I typed it in I moved it over to the left each of those texts and then I went over here and put a spacer in spacers are how you're going to make things go where you want them to go so when you're using a spacer you need to kind of be careful to not have it like if I just had it by this line as you can see that black bar it's only going to go right there so if I want it to go on this whole right-hand side, you need to take the spacer and drag it over so it's covering the whole side. And that way you can have um, this in there. And maybe I want to add a photo of her next. Then I can go to image. And if you ever can't find something, you can search the content block, like Instagram or whatever it is. Um, so you go to image, and I'll drag it below that. And now I could add um, an image right next to 
uh, the text. So the next thing I want to do is I want to edit this banner photo. So in order to do that, again, hover over. You can click banner because that's where the image is coming from. And it currently has this placeholder image. You just go remove and then you can add the image you want to add in. Um, so she's been featured in some really awesome publications and I want to feature that next. So instead of having these categories here, as you can see, I am going to go plus and I'm going to have a gallery. Um, and so we'll just do a grid starting off. And I will upload the six or seven um, publication New York Times or whatever, lay it out. And so in order to lay it out how I want it to be, um, I'm going to want about maybe six or seven. So I'm going to go over to design and then up this so we can have six thumbnails in that row. And I could also edit the padding if I wanted more or less padding or whatever. And I will just upload those images into these boxes. As a little aside, if you are ever wanting to have some cool text or whatever, um, you can do that by putting in an image. So I do a lot of my stuff in Canva, so just type in Canva. It'll pull up this. Um, it was a square, so we're just going to use the Instagram post. And I want to say, look, I've been featured in da da da. So you just go to Canva. Uh, maybe you put a block in there with her brand colors or whatever. And then um, go to text. And there's tons of different text that you can use. And then I'll save this just as a JPEG or a PNG and go back to her website. And that'll be the first photo. So as I'm looking at this site, I'm realizing I want to have a full length block, kind of like this one, separating this section with some featured posts. So one thing I could do is drag this block, it's the exclusive block over here, um, in between, but because I just added this section and this section onto the categories block, I won't be able to put it in between. So I will need to make this right here a separate block. And so in order to do that, you do add section on the left-hand side. And I can do a blank. And in this block is where I'm going to put, and I can drag this page up so we can see more what I'm doing. So if you drag it up, it's right above here. And I'm going to do this same block that I already did in here. So to do that, you just click edit. I will do a image block and then I'll have put just do search for the image and you can I've already imported the image so I'll just add it in there apply I already have a text box so I'm gonna put that to the left I can put in my text right here and save that and then I can delete these two things and drag this um, this block which is the exclusives in between my new page and the categories. So we'll take a look. So there's that, here is this, and then like I said, I'll delete these. Okay, so at this point I feel like I've made this Squarespace website pretty unique. Um, I might go through and take out some of these blogs. She does have um, articles on travel and articles on home and health, so I kind of like that, but I might go through and condense that a little bit um, and then I'm going to add in right here her uh, social feed and so in order to do that you can just go to edit again and right here you can connect the Instagram feed as long as you have um, you, all the login information so that's how you do that and this will connect mine so I'm not wanting to do that right now um, but if you wanted to add anything um, else to that section, again, you go plus, and then you can search for the block, whether you wanted to add um, maybe Facebook or Twitter buttons, or if you wanna add all the social links, you can drag that and um, connect all your socials. Your homepage is the most important page because that's where people are going to land on. Um, and then figure out what are they trying to go to next. And so um, for her, maybe they're wanting to go to her about page. And so, for these links, I'm going to direct the user journey. Um, and so I will change these links to be 
about or whatever I feel like they're going to go to. So you just click on edit, click the button, change the text to about, and then um, I will change the click through URL by just clicking on that little settings and you can change the page. So now I'm going to go in and create different pages so you can see how that is done. And if you look on the left hand side, it already has some pre-built pages and so a lot of times I just start with those. So if you look over here, it has an about page. You can just click on that. It says demo next to it. Um, and I'll just go in and edit this page to be what I want it to have, I guess. And I want the about, the contact, and the fact to all be in the main navigation up here. So this, as you can see, here is my primary navigation. That's where those are coming from. And so you can just drag these from the footer up to primary navigation. If you are really wanting in your footer uh, to have other, like the about page again, you can have it as a link. So you would go to plus, link, and then you could click on page. And you could search your page. Maybe it's your blog you really want and save. So that's how you can have it more than once in your primary and your footer. Secondary navigation is going to look a little different. Sometimes it has a box around it. Sometimes it's a different color. Um, and so that's where you can add in those things. I hope this video was helpful in teaching you how to create a Squarespace site from start to finish or just teaching you new tricks if you didn't already know. If you liked it, please like it below. That really helps. And let me know what you'll be implementing. Thanks.